Hello everyone, this is ATS Guest Gear back with some more Bronze League Heroes! That is right, the series where we have a lot of fun, we have a lot of laughs, and we cast the very best of the very worst. Down the bottom left side, it is going to be Gick! Am I really going to be saying Gick this entire time? That is one of the silliest names I've ever had to say as a caster. And up at the top left side, not to be confused with Tasteless, it is Charmless! Unfortunately, someone has stolen all of his lucky charms, which is very, very sad for him, but it is going to be a TVZ. And uh, remember, guys, you can send your replays to huskyreplays at gmail.com. My good friend Sinvicta does do the sorting, and he has sorted through, well, I think we've gotten, like, thousands of submissions, but uh, we still love going through them. He actually live streams going through them, so if you want to see kind of the ones that don't necessarily make it, or the ones that do make it, because he does live stream a lot of those, then uh, you can check it out. Now, we are going to be having a crazy wallet over here from Charmless. Whoa! Actually, press enter key. You be crazy, Charmless! Alright, sorry, that was... I was trying to make that look uh, like I intended to do that. Now, I'm wondering, is that a wall in that is nice and tight? It's actually sometimes hard to tell in this game. Especially on the new maps, I feel like there's locations that look like it is a tight wall in, and then a bunch of Zerglings are in your base, and you're like, oh... I miscalculated that slightly. Now, uh, Gick, right now, going to be going for an early-ish pool. Going to be going for the good old 12 pool. He's also got the extractor on the way. We'll be throwing those drones right on in there for some zergling speed. And this is going to be some early, early pressure right now. Now, Charmless, I don't know if he can actually get his wall in up in time. Uh, he might actually just take a lot of damage from this right from the get-go, because if he goes straight for Lings and actually times everything out perfectly, these Lings are going to be a knockin' pretty darn soon. Does he have the Overlord on the way? Nope, just the drones for now. We'll have to start an Overlord with his next Larva if he wants to make Zerglings, or he could just make a Queen, I suppose, but should be an Overlord. There it is! Starts the Overlord right there. And the timing of this is a little bit more economic than I actually expected it to be, so it's going to be delaying the rush on those Lings a tad bit. He should be starting the Queen right away. Oh, look at that! Got the Queen started, and should be going for the Zergling speed. Now, normally, uh, as Zerg, if you're going to be going for a pool this early versus Terran, you'll go ahead and pull your three drones off of gas right at 100, because you want to expand on the back of it, if you're playing like a macro style. But if you're just goofing around and you want to win with a bunch of Zerglings, uh, you can go for it. Then you would still pull your drones off gas. That was a really bad example. But uh, either way, Charmless right here setting up another depot right there. And what's he going to be dropping? Looks like a bunker goes down and could drop a factory right here to kind of finish this wall in if he wanted to. It would actually be super, super safe if he did that. Two Lings going to be moving out right now. Neither player having scouted out of their base. Uh, those Lings are on the move command. They have been given many commands indeed, and lots of money on the in the bank. Oh, that depot, if it was just down a little bit, I think that would finish the wall in. Doesn't look like the wall in's going to be done in time. The Zerglings will be able to spot this. Tech Lab is on the way for Charmless. This wall in looks a little bit ramshackle, but it's just going to have to do, as the Marines are going to have to be the ones who hold the line. They do manage to kill off the, uh, the first Zergling scout there. Zergling speed nearly done. Do we have a bunch of lings on the way? We got four on the field. Should be five total if I remember correctly. Well, I do, as nothing has actually happened in this game yet. But uh, six lings on the way. We got a Baneling Nest uh, up as well. So Gick is wanting to end this game very, very quickly. He's saying, you know what? This is Bronze League Heroes, man. He's probably not saying this, but he should be. This is Bronze League Heroes, man. I'm going to go for an early attack. Screw expanding. That's, like, overrated. Now, I would say that this Wallen could definitely use some love. If nothing else, you want to at least force the Banelings, but I don't even know if Banelings are going to have to be forced right now because there's nothing here really defending the entrance. So Charmless is actually going to have a little bit of trouble here as the Ling's going to be moving out. That Zergling speed is done, which means they're going to be rushing all the way across the map. Gick is getting ready for an attack. Now, we do have a Widowmine on the way, and actually he places that Widowmine perfectly. He can actually uh, stop just about all the pressure that's going to be coming his way, but this is going to be a lot of Zerglings right now. And you got to remember that this is not completely walled in yet, so I think these Zerglings are actually going to be able to get in here right now. Uh, Combat Shields is on the way. Oh, but the Banelins are on the way as well, so he's going to go for a Baneling Bust instead of going for not that, which I think going for just pure Zerglings could be disaster. Oh god, but the Widow Mine's gonna be on the ramp. There's the first Widow Mine gonna burrow on the ramp, and keep in mind, when you're playing at this level, Widow Mines can kill all of your units. So it looks like the Banelings right now, they're geared up, the Zerglings here as well. It looks like the Widow Mine should 
take out the preliminary Zerglings, and then the Banelings will be able to do their damage. We're just going to have to wait and see, as a lot of Zerglings and Banelings are here in the middle of the map. We're only at the 7-minute mark. Looks like it's going to be a pretty early time to attack. Two more Lings are on the way, but Gick has a lot of money in the bank. These are the, uh, the Inject Larva Kids, which I like to think are just for some reason like the rich kids, and then the regular Larva are like the poor kids, because, you know, they, they, you have to make them one at a time. There's not a whole lot going on, and then the rich kids move into town. So we'll see if it's the rich kids who get killed off by the Widow Mine, or if it's going to... Why, did, why am I calling Zerglings rich kids? That doesn't even make sense, but here we go. Oh god, the Widow Mine. The Widow Mine is in such a good spot. Oh no, he's actually going to kill the Banelings, I think. Oh, avert your eyes. Oh my god. Oh god. That Banelings like, what? What? No big deal. Uh, no big deal, guys. Why do Banelings have kill counters? Think about that. Oh my god, that Widow Mine. I literally, I, I literally put my fist in my mouth. That was ridiculous. So many kills there. Oh, you know, just one widow mine for 725 resources lost. That first widow mine being a huge detonation right now. Gick is probably not too pleased with. Oh my god, that was so sick! But here we go again. There is a widow mine behind the wall, and unfortunately, it's not there to defend those marines. And the rest of the banelings are going to detonate there. Oh, the widow mine! Is it gonna activate? No, oh, it's already activated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got a little excited there for nothing. That one Bane Link should get taken out by the Marauder. But, uh-oh, SCV's in your mineral line. I mean, oh god, the Bane Link. Oh god, the Bane Link is so close. Might not even need the Bane Link here. All right, well, that was a little anticlimactic. But either way, the same amount of damage has been dealt to those workers. Oh, there he goes. The Bane Link's like, no, I'll wait until there's only one SCV to, to detonate. Uh, we do see more Widow Mines on the way here. This is not looking very good for Charmless right now. As uh, these Widow Mines are live, boom, gets one hit there. I think that was only a one hit, one kill, though, which, in, you know, in Call of Duty is pretty cool, but in StarCraft, not so much when you're killing Zerglings. You really can't brag, yo, bro, I killed a Zergling in, like, one hit. It's like, okay, you and everybody else. All right, those look at the engineering bay. Got to get taken out. The supply depot going down as well. Oh, dear, we got more Zerglings at the natural as well. Charles is actually in a lot of trouble right now. As uh, he does have the Marines trying to move out. He does have combat shields, but no stem. And unfortunately, he does not have enough units to cut off these links. These poor Marines are so dead. But you know who's not dead? The Widow Mine. And there he goes right there. Should be able to cut off all those links, or at least a lot of them. And does do uh, quite a bit of damage with that. Looks like the factory will be forced to lift off. More links are over here, but the Widow Mine slowly eating all these links alive. Taking a look here, we have a sergeant ranked Widow Mine, as well as a corporal. So you got to be saluting these ones, I believe. Sergeants, you have, to, you have to salute the sergeant? I don't know, but pretty soon at this rate, they're going to be promoted to commander if we're not too careful here. But uh, Gick has got to watch out, man. He's at 31 supply versus the 11 of Charmless. He keeps sending in units, though, and the Widow Mines are having a heyday with it. That Marine trying to gather will probably be killed by the Widow Mine. Yes, he was. And the Widow Mine over here is up to 12 kills, now 15 and oh my god, Charmless is actually held on by some weird twist of fate. Uh, Charmless is still actually in this game. He's currently losing his barracks. I don't think he's going to be able to repair that with his five minerals. Although dropping three mules, not bad. Not bad. Could definitely go for landing this command center, though. We'll kill off that Zergni, which still managed to get a kill. Oh, man. So Gick being uh, pretty cost-effective here in these engagements. Able to do lots of damage. Workers killed overall 24, which leaves zero SCVs in this game. This SCV is going to spawn and be like, uh, where is everyone? Why is there no SCVs? And Charmless is going to be like, don't worry about it. D don't even worry about it, bro. It's going to be fine. Here comes more Zerglings and Banelings, though. They're going to be rolling in. They take out the Marines. The Widow Mine, though, gets a couple of kills. And the other Widow Mine is still active. Cleans it on up. I cannot believe this. Nope, you can stop attacking your barracks now, you don't. I know you're angry. Oh, God, they're still shooting the barracks, aren't they? No, they finally did stop shooting the barracks, but it was too late as the Lings had already streamed in. All right, so nonstop action so far in this game. These mules are about to time out. So losing the oh, another Widow Mine hit there. 18 kills. That is the Captain Widow Mine right there. And uh, we have the another Captain and a Sergeant. So two Captains and a Sergeant. Does like the links right here going to be working on the orbital command? Can he kill off the widow mines? That's the real question. How many SCVs are we up to? Uh, still zero SCVs after losing that one. One has just spawned though, so a round of applause, everybody, for the SCV that has just spawned. We'll see how long he can actually stay alive. And uh, the one barracks already burnt down. This factory is so close to begin the burning down process. But guess what? They do not want to give me a break. Gick is out for blood. 
He wants to end this game right away, just steamrolling through those Widow Mines. But I guess these Widow Mines are actually in a very, very good spot right now. So unless he sends in those Zerglings one at a time, which he's not going to. He's got to be careful. So many kills. Oh, God. The Marines right there are doing the, uh, they're almost like suicide bombers. Those are like the the, uh, the Terran version of the Baneling. Just stand over by the Widow Mine to bait them into it. Oh, my God. We have a Commander Widow Mine. Literally, when you're playing through the game, and it says, Greetings, Commander. Welcome for another mission. Yada, yada. You are actually a Widow Mine. You are not a person. You are a self-aware Widow Mine who is going to be uh, running the entire game. So we have a Commander Widow Mine. We also got the cute Recruit Widow Mine. He hasn't seen nearly as much action. The Captains, though, have been there uh, from the beginning, as we do now have the Overseer out. I also love how Gick got a lair for the Overseer, and he's still sitting on one base. I think that's my favorite part here, is he is one base zerging it up all day, as is to be expected in Bronze League Heroes. We also do have Ventral Sacks on the way, which is which is still a weird upgrade for me to say. Oh, you know, we got Ventral Sacks up in here. It's just, it's just weird to me, and that's fine, but uh, we'll see if the drop actually manages to make anything happen. Does he have Overlord Speed? Yes, he does. If I'm not mistaken, he does actually have Overlord speed here. 1.88 is the movement speed. Oh, the Widow Mines. You got to watch out, buddy. He's trying to kill them all. And he, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, all the Zerg players out there just died a little bit inside. Uh, wait, isn't that Recruit? Did he get promoted to a commander already? 32 kills on this Widow Mine. And uh, we have two commanders now. Now, the real question is, is do we have too many commanders in the kitchen? That is... That's what we're wondering, or is having this many commanders actually good for his game? Uh, well, oh god, make it stop, this is so painful! Ah, that one Ling survived. But man, the commander on the back is still the one kicking it. The other commander was a short-lived commander. He was born into commandership. Oh, Gick with the smack talk saying, why no surrender? I win already! Oh, now I know who I'm cheering for, Mr. Charmless Gick with the, uh, with the, with the smack talk. And it's so funny when they're like, hey, why don't you GG already? And then follows it up with, I've already won. Well, actually, if you already won, uh, Charmless would be out of the game. That, that's going to be my pro tip of the day. Don't smack talk. Bunch of Ling's going to be running up here. Now, this is actually enough to uh, cause some trouble. If he just sends in one Ling at a time, runs them at the Marines, he can do splash damage to the Marines. He's got to be fine. Here he goes right now, but they're in a big group again. No! Oh, my God. This is so bad. This is like me trying to play a sport. I, I, I get a good start. I run across the field, and then I die. That is exactly what happens to those Zerglings as uh, it looks like th there's only two Lings left, and they do not. They do not. They don't want to go over there. I can tell you that they don't want to go over there. They're, they're thinking about it. They're like, all right, here comes the Overlord. So, ooh, maybe we're going to see the coveted two Zergling drop. We'll see if that's going to be able to do two damage or do enough damage. Doing two damage would actually be pretty good considering how few Zerglings he has right now. Now, we do have some trivial hooks on the way. Baneling speed, Zerglings on the way as well. And this is actually going to be it for Gick. Because he has no more money that he can mine from. Look at this. These mineral patches are basically going to disappear. Some of them still have like 800 minerals, though, because he hasn't had enough drones to fully saturate that. No, these are not Broodlords. We are used to seeing Broodlords at the 19-minute mark. But these are the 19-minute mark Overseers, which are going to attempt to guard the Zerglings. Let's take a look over here at Charmless. Charmless is actually in the lead in supply, which is hilarious. He's just... He, he doesn't give a damn, man. He's just... Oh, and he says, nah. I'm assuming he's trying to spell nah there. He's just like, no. No, not only am I going to wait three minutes to respond to your BM, I'm also not going to spell my words correct, and I'm still going to kill all of your units. Is exactly what he said here. So a little bit of a rivalry going on. I also love how there's no stim pack. Screw it. Who needs it? Here comes the Zerglings right now. The Overseer's here. They've got to be careful. Can he actually make something happen? Oh, you got to be careful there. There is enough Widow Mines to actually make this a uh, a devastating epic fail of the day. Which is really what this game should be. As we do have the Zorglings right now going to attempt to get some map control. We could really see an expansion. Pro tip of the day. Expand before the 20 minute mark, guys. I don't care how Gosu you think your one base Zerg is. You need to expand before the 20 minute mark. Now, Gick obviously making the mistake. Why are you expanding all the way over here? 
Uh, all right, he is going to double expand, which I guess is okay, but should definitely take this expansion as quickly as possible. So he will actually have a base advantage now that he has expanded at the 20 minute mark. We'll see if he can actually make anything happen with Zerglings. I would recommend making any other unit other than Zerglings. Maybe not Mutalisks either, since his control has obviously been like... This, this is some top three Woodley control so far this game. So we'll see if he can actually make it happen with these Lings. Uh, I think the answer to that is no. He may have missed his chance already to actually engage. And look at this! Look at this! Charmless setting up quite the epic minefield right here, which means that the Marines can swing in and out of the main base and natural and not worry about the natural being undefended. Oh, it's going to be drop time. Unfortunately, he only brought two Overlords. So he's going to be dropping two Overlords worth of units at a time. Which I gotta say, I do like the idea of doing drops. I wish more players would do that. He is gonna drop it right in the mineral line. Does uh, does Charmless know about it just yet? He does have the one siege tank. Huh, we'll see. We'll see if we can actually make anything happen with these lings, though. Widow mines are in position, though. This is a new recruit, Widow Mines. So we'll see if we can get some of those money shots we've seen before. I don't think he's even gonna need to. Oh god, here it comes. Make it stop. Make it stop the Widow Mine there. Not as much splash damage to the Marines as I thought uh, there could have been. But the drop does get cleaned up. The Overseers are like, well, we got to watch that happen. Now we're going to go ahead and fly away. Keep in mind, Overseers are so freaking fast, man. 2.75. That is so speedy, Gonzalez. We do have the Marines right now. He's slowly starting to get up a little bit of an army. He is super supply blocked, though. Got to remember that he did end up losing those depots. So he's going to continue to try and make more. And actually, he's already queued up some more here. So that supply block will be broken down in due time. More Zerglings are on the way, though. Oh, the Widowmine there hitting the Overlord, which means goodbye, Widowmine. Although, two Badelings to kill a Widowmine. To me, that uh, doesn't quite seem very cost-effective. Oh, God, more Lings tried to run up here. That that was actually probably a hilarious detonation that we just missed. But it looks like more SCVs are going to get taken out. The Marine Army starting to look pretty terrifying. All the Lings going to get taken out as well. Pretty sure they were on the move command right there, or told to attack a specific Marine, which you never want to tell your Zerglings to attack a specific Marine. Trust me, the AI will control them much better than you if it's a battle that you're going to win anyway, or at least do a little bit of extra damage. Now, uh, more Zerglings on the way. I feel like Gick is suffering from what I like to call being really bad. He needs to uh, make more units than just Zerglings at this point. He needs to go for Roaches. I know. I know a lot of you are going to say, Husky, you're being so mean to the Bronze League players. Don't be so mean. Number one, he's smack talk, so I can make fun of him all I want. And number two, just learn from it. Don't make don't make this many Zergling Bailing if you can't deal with the Widow Mines. Now, it is 72 supply here. We'll see if Git can get himself back in this game. He's got the Banelings now done. He's got a lot of money in the bank, but guess what? So does Charmless right now, as it does look at the Lings right here going to attempt. Oh, God, still with the two Overlord drops. I think some of these are Banelings as well. That is not, oh, they're all Banelings, so hopefully he would have went straight for the workers or something like that. We'll most likely unload these units here. Indeed, he does. Lots of Zerglings, lots of Banelings. More Zerglings going to be showing up right now, but uh, I don't really think there's anything he can do at this point. I feel like Charmless hasn't ever actually left his, he hasn't. He has not left his base, man. He is staying right at home. I mean, why change it if uh, if you're just fine? That's, that is exactly what I want to know. And he says, you know what, there is no reason to change it. Looks like the Overseer there, going to be scouting around. He's spotted, look at that Overseer control. That is top three Wood League right there. Um, great Overseer control. Oh, almost loses it there to the Missile Turret. But again, he's top three Wood League, so he's going to be just fine with that. Um, so at this point, he's got one last attack in him. Oh, God, here it comes in slow motion. Oh, no, the Zerglings, what are you doing? Oh, God, the Banelings. No. <laughs> Those units... They didn't even, the Marines didn't even have to shoot. They're just like, all right, sit back, set up the bleachers, and enjoy that. Oh, God, that was so painful. But, hey, he contaminated the barracks. So there was no Marines being produced there for a short while. Oh, God. He does have the three bases, though. So maybe he can play into the uh, the fact that the Terran player has not left the game just yet. Gick right now is making drones. He's actually tech switching. We have the 27-minute tech switch to Mutalisks which is the absolute worst unit he could be getting right now versus the Widow Mine, since these Widow Mines, is that one Widow Mine still alive? 17 kills, one kill, 16 kills, four kills. I think we eventually lost the Hero Widow Mine. And the Mule's right there trying to engage, but that's just not gonna happen. Um, let's see, four, 17, 16, 19, and four, yep. Yeah. So a lot of Widow Mines out. Honestly, Gig still has a 
chance-ish if our Terran player never moves out. And also he could win by just burrowing Banelings on the path of where the Marines are going to be attacking. If he burrowed those Widow Mines and then detonated them, then that would even up this game right away. And I, I'm going to laugh if Charmless wins without ever leaving his base. Now, normally if a player does an all-in and you defend it, and they'll leave the game. But in this game, it has been 29 minutes of all-ins, and Charmless still has not left the base. Maybe he thinks he's just playing SimCity, and uh, the things that he's dealing with are just like plagues or something. And he's like, no, I'm just going to sit here and build up my city. It's going to be fine. Thor is here. So he does have a Thor now out, which is just absolutely hilarious, because even now the Baneling landmine idea that I had is not going to be enough, because he has to deal with those Thors as well. So taking a look at the production tab right now, more drones going to be on the way for Gick, which I think is the correct choice. The Marines are moving out now. Looks like Charmless is making a move on the map. He has now explored more of the map than he has in the first 30 minutes. It does look like these units will be taken out. The Marines going to town. They mean business. Take out the Overseer as well. The Overlord's here trying to buy time. But Gick right now, unfortunately, is not really macroing that well. He's still making Zerglings. He is going to stick to that Zergling Muta till the day he dies, which I think that, that day is going to be today. I don't know that he has much of a chance. But uh, we'll see if Charmlish manages to mess this up. We have seen some pretty epic fails out of Gick. Maybe it is time for Charmless to uh, return the favor and have an epic fail of the day. Like, if there was a fail blog for StarCraft, this would be this would be right up there. Oh, God, the army is finally mobilizing. It is ready to go. And, man, is it terrifying. We have no upgrades. Oh, actually, we do have two, uh, two attack upgrades on these Marines. That's actually quite impressive. More Mutalisks are on the way, but the Missile Turrets are a little bit too much. Don't think anything's going to come of that. And he is working on uh, Stim Pack, finally. So we got the 33-minute and 33-second Stim Pack timing coming out. And uh, even has an SCV brought along for the ride. He's carrying some Vespine gas. Why the hell not? And uh, we'll see. This is all... I love how he... He's like just now expanding here, so if this attack doesn't work, he's actually in a lot of trouble. But I gotta say that uh, Gick has had a lot of time just to build a ridiculous amount of drones, and he has currently not done so. As the Mutalists now are going to be moving on out. Might actually be able to... No, that's not going to happen. This, this harassment was just not meant to be, as there is way too many Marines. The missile turrets are there, ready to go. Oh, God, careful there with the Mutas, trying to fly at a good angle. Oh, he's going to run into more units. Oh, and into the Widow Mines. Oh, God. God. Oh, and into the missile turret! <laughs> oh, God. I love how that was so perfectly failed that every single unit died, like, down to the last shot. He couldn't have failed any better. There's the GG from Gick. At least he is kind enough to throw out a GG. I don't even think sh uh, Charmless should say anything. He does say GG. Here come the Lings right now. Can he make something happen? Looks like he will actually do some decent damage here. The Banelings can get in there. They will... Whoa. That didn't kill anything. The plus two attack, uh, keeping them alive as they burn through those banelings quite quickly. Now, Gix still does have 2,000 resources. Oh, God. He said hard lucky. I don't... Hard lucky small... Was that passive aggressive? Is that an insult? Is, is he... What does hard lucky mean? <laughs> Dude, this is like... This is like the... Uh, you can't not pool a Zerg. Like... All, just all the things that, that people say at the end of Bronze League Heroes. Hey, dude, uh, hard lucky, smiley face emoticon. It's like, what does that even mean? I don't even know. What I want to see again, though, is the epic fail mutalisks. These are, these are the most fail mutalisks I think I've ever seen. All right, let's just, uh, let's just count. Let's just count how fail this was one step at a time. All right, so the mutas are going to fly in. Here they go. They fly into the missile turret. That's going to be his fail number one. He turns around, ends up losing one muta to the missile turrets. He's like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and swoop to the right side. Avoids all those units, but then he swoops into this army, so that's going to be fail number two. Now he's going to fly into the natural where the Thors are, and that's fail number three. Fail number four is the Widow Mines, which take them all out. And the final conclusion is fail number five with the Missile Turrets. The last shot there, killing off the Mutas. Oh, God. That's... I could just watch that all day. That was... That was depressing for those Mutalists, man. They did not stand a chance. That was a lot of Mutas, too. So, uh, anyways, this is why we love Bronze League Heroes. Absolutely hilarious things you would never expect to see. Uh, Charmless basically won by not leaving his base, which I, is very respectable for a 35-minute game. feel like we're watching Thorzane or something, man. Just never leaves his base. He don't care. All right, that was hilarious. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.